Okay, enough is enough. My name is Sean Curran, and I would like to share a big problem I'm having with a company called Dollar Rent-A-Car. You know, it's no wonder that our country is in the sorry shape that it's in if this is what we've come to accept as standard business practice. Corporations are people. Right now, I would like to punch Dollar right in its corporate nose. Allow me to explain. Now, twice in the past, I've made a reservation with Dollar Rent-A-Car. I've been given a confirmation number, and when I arrive to pick up my car, I'm told there are no cars available. Even though I made these reservations well over a week in advance, I have still experienced the same unsatisfactory results. On both occasions, it cost me both time and money to correct the situation. And the last time, Dollar actually ended up passing me off to another rental car company, and we had to go to the airport to pick up the car. Now, right now, you're probably wondering why I just don't go with the other company. And right now, I'm asking myself the same question. You see, the thing is, I live in Manhattan. And for me, Dollar is the most conveniently located of all the rental car companies. So, I guess you can call me a masochist because I did it again. And I'm afraid this may be a situation of third time's the charm. You see, this weekend, my family is celebrating Labor Day and my godson's birthday with a family cookout in Pennsylvania. So, last week, I made a reservation with Dollar Rent-A-Car. I reserved a car for tomorrow, Saturday, August 30th at 10 a.m. I received my confirmation number, L1550410. And this morning, I even received a reservation reminder email from Dollar saying that they're looking forward to seeing me. So, just to be on the safe side, this afternoon, I stopped into my neighborhood Dollar rental location a day early to show them my confirmation email and to ensure that my car would be there. The woman behind the counter looked me in the face and said to me, and I quote, there is no way that I can guarantee a car because this is a busy weekend and that's the nature of this business. What the hell is that supposed to mean? And now, what the hell am I supposed to do? Do I make a reservation with Hertz or Enterprise and then just cancel those reservations if Dollar comes through? It doesn't seem right. And I really don't want to do that. I'm expecting Dollar to honor my original reservation. So, here's where things currently stand. If anyone from Dollar is watching this, again, the last name is Curran, C-U-R-R-A-N, and the confirmation number is L1550410. If my car is there at 10 a.m. tomorrow, I will post another video thanking you profusely and complimenting you on a job well done. If, once again, there is no car available, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Thanks for listening, and stay tuned.